a golden chance for Middleton. Does that oh. make a big difference at this level? This, this is the ball game for him. This is his whole career in one, in one fight. Kenny Norton cannot afford to get careless. With a lot of gold in Yankee Stadium in September. Yes, there is. I, I think uh, Norton just got another thumb in the eye. Left jam by Middleton again. And a good left by Norton. Last time I saw Kenny Norton, he weighed 218. He is 222 and a half and not getting any smaller. No, if you look at that body, there's not an ounce of fat on it anywhere. And he works hard. They say he's a great training camp fighter. He really works hard. That he is. And he knows what's in front of him. He's got a fight with Muhammad Ali on September 28th. Uh, he's uh, guaranteed a million and a half dollars. I don't think he wants to throw it away here, Tom. It's true. For a million and a half, you'd fight an alligator, right, Jerry Ford? Uh, Norton and an alligator. Oh, good stiff jab by Kenny Norton. Another Get good it. stiff one. See, as I told you, that comes from uh, such an odd angle, that jab, and it's a, it's a difficult one to get away from. Now Norton is putting the pressure on Middleton, the taller fighter having trouble sticking and moving enough to keep away. That's what he's got to do. Uh, oh, the right, right hand. Uppercut. Left hook. I didn't see that land as tall as me, but there's no way. Kenny Norton is mad now, and he's going to work on Middleton right in Middleton's corner. He's got to do this. He is strong. He has stopped fooling around, ladies and gentlemen. Kenny Norton now has Middleton where he wants him, where he can't back off. Good right hand by Middleton inside. Good move there. Middleton's coming back. He knows the tricks of the trade. You can see this, Tom. This is a good fight. Got right out of there. They got out of trouble, didn't they? People have got to appreciate it. Two big heavyweights like this, giving them a good show. Remember, Kenny Norton is 31 years old. He will be next month. So this is his big opportunity, too. Don't do a hook slide here, he's telling himself. Good stiff jab by both fighters. Condition is a big, a big, big part of Ken Norton's game. And I think uh, he may wear Middleton down. You know, Middleton has a good move where he side steps and shoots that straight right down, but he missed with a couple he of times. He moves right and left, which is difficult for a lot of fighters to do. They don't have the versatility of going both ways. Well, you mentioned that some fighters don't lose power by moving either way. You were one of those, but it's hard to come by, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, I don't know. Some people, that they, they train them their track for moving left and left only. And other fighters fight that way to defend themselves from guys going like right. So when you switch and go right, they don't understand it. That's All right. It. And Kenny Norton doesn't understand it, but Larry Middleton bounced back and really fought him on even terms in the last part of round four. There's Norton. And Middleton's waiting for him. And, of course, Sunday at 4, CBS Sports will give you the Westchester Golf Classic. The best guys on the tour will be shooting for $60,000 first prize. I could almost get my graph out after that kind of money myself. The Westchester Classic next Saturday at 4.30 and Sunday at 4. And right now it's round 5 and Norton is after Middleton. What about it, Jerry? Well, a lot of people didn't think this fight would go this far. But uh, I know Middleton, and I know that he's capable of going the distance with anybody and possibly winning with his abilities. I thought he was winching in pain a little bit when he was talking to his people in the corner there, but uh, I guess was, you'd do that, huh? He was gunning a little bit, but uh, he's back out and fighting. He wants to win the fight. His face showing a little bit of the uh, results of, of a couple of good stiff jabs by Norton. It looks like Middleton's face is a little puffy. It's hard to tell. It's a little bit. He's, uh, Norton has a, a hard, driving, aggressive left jab, and it uh, takes its toll. Middleton's only been KO'd one time in anybody's memory. Norton is going to work, but not landing with all of those. No, he's not, and they're not landing that solid. Middleton's doing a good job of getting away from him, being evasive. But that pressure's going to get to him. There's no question about that. Ooh, the right hand misses both of them. Those were damaging-looking blows if they had landed on the chest, huh? Middleton's but they didn't. I see Norton is making a mistake here of loading up with every shot. He just let them go and flow fluidly. They're, they're more effective. They do more damage. Remember, those are eight-ounce gloves and an 18-foot ring. And that isn't big enough when you're with a guy like Kenny Norton. I hate to correct you there, Tommy, but in California, the heavyweights have to use 10-ounce gloves. Good. Yeah, if I was fighting, it'd be 20 ounces. A good hook <laughs> by Kenny Norton. It's a punishing round. Number yes, five is. is nothing cute or fancy. It's done. Well, Middleton's still 
in there. He's, he's not going to lay down for the men. The only time that Norton, uh, Middleton has been knocked out was by Ron Lyle. It was in the third round. And then in a rematch with Lyle, he went the distance with him. So he's, he's in there to stay. Now let me ask you this, Jerry. Can a guy like Norton hurt you even if he doesn't hit you solid and you block the blows? Can he wear you down by uh, hitting you in the he, arm? He may wear you down, but he no, he can't hurt you if they're blocked. In fact, uh, he would have to hit you picture perfect to knock you now out. Joe Frazier, but he, he and Marcel, well, those Joe people Frazier, keep banging on your arm. Joe right? Frazier can do damage to anyone. <laughs> They're exchanging hooks. Little right bit. uppercut that's caught part of the glove. Tough, tough right hook to the body by Norton, too. I'll tell you, Middleton is not backing off. No, he's, uh, he's in there to go. This is a heavyweight fight. Oh, big hook misses, and now Middleton comes up. He takes a right hand, he's hurt. Middleton staggered that time. I think he's a little more off balance there, John. Round five brings a crowd as Larry Middleton was rocked for just a moment with a solid right hand. We've got hey, a Corey, we got a good fight here, my friend. You know it. Don't go away. There's another arm, but it seems the entire body's not going into the punch properly. Round six in San Diego, and you're seated live here on CBS. That is Kenny Norton, who is anything but dead, but I'll tell you, Middleton comes out bouncing a little bit on those legs that looked a little stiff at one time there. I think Norton really wanted to take, take that fight to him in that round and just see what Middleton was made of. Maybe he could... Uh, force him to quit. We had heard uh, round five is mentioned as the target date for a Norton knockout, but round five has come and gone. I think a few more rounds are going to go before this one's over. That peekaboo style. He's, Norton covers up the, the jaw area, doesn't he? Hides it behind that glove. Huh? Well, he does that. That's a good jab I made with that long reach. That flicking jab does a lot of damage at times. You know, he's catching with the... Uh, with a thumb open, you're sticking it in an Keep your punches up. Keep your punches up. you don't have the tempo to put together combinations, I guess, either, if there's a good jab on you all the right. time. That's right. It breaks up your timing. That's Larry Middleton on the left, the biggest fight, certainly, of his life, except maybe when he fought Quarry in Wembley, England, a couple of years ago. This uh, might be a close and arresting round for Norton, because he did uh, let it all hang out the last round. As you said, he was loading up for the knockout on every punch, which can be dangerous. Look at the size of his arms now. He's got to right. carry those. Not only throw them, but carry them. He should realize uh, that Middleton has gone the distance with hard punches, and he shouldn't load up. If he's going to knock him out, he should, he should just let the punch come automatically. Pretty good hook by Kenny Norton. 36 wins, only three losses. He doesn't believe in any draws. There's not one on his record. Kenny's an all-out guy. Ooh, pretty good right hand by Larry Middleton. A lead right hand. It's uh, not one of the more common punches thrown in boxing. A couple of good jabs by Middleton. He caught Norton and sort of put him back on his toes a little bit. On his heels. Ooh. That was partially blocked by the glove, Tom. See, if you weren't here, I would think all of those landed. I'm well, glad you're here, I, but the only thing I know, I know when a man's hurt because uh, a lot of commentators have stated men have been hurt when they haven't been. Right above us now, in the neutral corner, left us by Norton. Kenny Norton, and I'm telling you, he is put together. Good moving by Middleton. So far, good left hook oh. there. Double left hook to the head and a right to the body. A little bit low with that Middleton. last hook. 24 seconds left. Middleton had a little trouble. Oh, There's a good right fight. hand by Norton. And a wild Middleton one. staggered. He was hurt from that right. You can count down and see if he's going to make it. Uh, he's into the final count. He's going to make this round out. I think he's oh, what punishment. Punishment. Kenny Martin, two seconds, one second. Middleton is still on his feet. looping right hand is the one that caught caught Middleton and uh, you're seeing some of the action he gets up 
around rather quickly. His own brother's in there to help him. Round yeah. number seven, and some said it wouldn't go five. He got, a, he got up a little bit of a stagger, but he did tell his corner that he was okay. I think that last round took an awful lot out of Middleton. What he can't do, though, is afford not to keep jabbing and sticking or he'll get really wasted, won't he? That's uh, without question. Good jab by Norton and then two jabs by Middleton. Not nearly as effective as Norton's jab, though. I have a feeling that Kenny Norton is measuring a six foot five inch heavyweight from Baltimore. Am I wrong, Joe? It kind of looks that way to me. That right hand did hurt Middleton, but. Uh, he wasn't the star with his experience. I think it's just a matter of time now. That pressure is, is really, it's really wearing a little bit down. When you get a chance, look at the back on Kenny Norton right now. You want to see somebody that's put together the way the good Lord, I guess, meant for us all to be. Look at the back on him. He's a long way across, isn't it? trouble just keeping everything going in the same direction. And Norton is very calm and cool now. I would think because of that last round, knowing that middle was hurt, that uh, Norton should just take it out, take it to him. Kenny Norton's left eye is a little bit puffy and closing just a bit. And that's a pretty good jab and a sneak right hand that, oh, there it is. That middle can slip in there. Maybe Norton needs to work. He wants to get 10 rounds of work for his fight with Ali. Don't go on him. Stayed for 10 rounds with a lot of the big bangers. But yeah, he has. That will not happen. Yesterday, Kenny Norton said, remember, if you don't go 10 rounds, it'll be my fault. And he was very clear what he meant. Oh, a little bit low by Norton. A little low, partially on the elbow, but into the body, too. Good right hand to the body. The unseen punches that hurt so much when you're in that ring, Jerry. Huh? That's, that's the whole ball game inside. Take the stamina out of a man so quickly with those wrist and body shots. Middleton doesn't appear to have much left in his punches, even though he's still actively throwing them. He's just uh, strictly flicking on punches. Oh, good left combination. Right hand by Kenny Martin. Here in round seven, is going to do it all. If he were the devastating punches that he's supposed to be, and people thought he was, those would have taken those enough. But he has to wear a man down. Good test for Kenny Norton, though. Larry Middleton, Watch your head. who just refused Watch to head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. He's rocked with that hook by Norton. The punches are moving Middleton now. That punch landed on the shoulder. The Middleton is doing all things. It's pretty, though, Jerry. Middleton is hanging right in there, looking forward to the next round. He's going to make it. That's it. Now breathe a little bit as the fight swings his way and he takes control. 222 pounds of him. <laughs> National Doubles Championship, San Jose, California. That's the National Doubles Bowling Championship tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Jerry, we're getting ready for it. Round number eight. Norton now really... I believe feels he has the fight completely his way. What do you think? Well, in the first few rounds, uh, Middleton did the right thing uh, to try and stay in the fight. But then Norton realized what he was doing wrong. He said, hey, I've got to take it to this man. I've got a lot at stake here, so I'm going to take it to him and see what I can do with it. Middleton's legs appear a little bit stiff and jerky, and I'm not trying to put the hammer on it because he's taking some great shots, but he's trying to test him, trying to feel him. And that must be a weird feeling, Jerry, when the legs are... Perspiration, but it wasn't tight on the button. Should Middleton try to clinch and, and make no, Rudy Jordan's part of a little bit, or should he stay out of it? He should box him. He really should box him. Move okay. and box him. But now stand on those ropes. Keep him up. Keep him up. Keep him up. 